Hey YouTube, and uh, what we've got here is another in the uh, <laughs> apparently increasingly long line of um, pressure control or pressure troll failures. Uh, we have a residio um, on a Columbia boiler, um, and this is OEM for this particular boiler because of the spade terminals as opposed to the uh, screw terminals. And as we've got it set down to the lowest uh, setting, it of course arrived at the you know, top of the setting uh, for steam and crabs. So we've got it at one and, and a half and nice clickety click there with just the delicate finger pressure. And there is the model and the date code, which is similar to the uh, last uh, video that I had on this one. And this arrived broken. Um, the This was bent, um, so I straightened it out. And also I found that the spring was out of battery, uh, so you didn't have uh, the same spring pressure, so they set it to whatever. That might have been on the other one. I didn't really notice that on the other one, um, but I did on this one. So I caught it as a, pardon the wobbly camera there. Um, so I think I got this one working well. Um, it's just annoying that their quality control has gone to hell. I think they, I think they probably fired their quality control managers, figuring that uh, there's no downside to that. Uh, because I I have to get this operational, and I, I think a you know video like this one is you know yeah, not that many people are going to watch it or so they can they're a big huge multinational company they can uh, they don't have to worry about it but uh, on February you got to get this thing operational and they really don't want to go running off to get new parts so I showed you how to tweak the tab in the back there to uh, get this thing to work and uh, well there we go um, thank you Residio uh, I think you can do a lot better take care